What's up, everybody? Back at the shop, doing a race recap. Here we are with Black Betty. You guys haven't seen her in a while. Car's been doing okay. My wife is struggling a little bit. I believe she's in her head. So um, we haven't really touched the car much. Same combination, just messing with tunes. We went down to the bus stop, which was the concrete place, and it was tricky. So I detuned it down to this. I seen some things with that car that day I have never seen in any RC racing. There was a cage of a fence, you know, the fence on the left side, and there was those concrete pillars. That car went flying through the cage, missed the fence, went through the pillars on one pass, missed the pillars. Shocked that that car didn't get destroyed. So. Then we went up to testing. So we left that tune up in it from the bus stop. And that's what it ran. Excuse me. 251 at 61. 62.1. So I put a little bit more power in it, knowing that she's struggling. And as you see, she didn't make it down on that pass. She had the lift, only went 59. Again, I put a little bit down low in it just to help the 60 foot. 446 but the mids are all the same so she said she wanted me to put some more power in it so I did and I left it there first pass she made as you guys see 65 238 but all the mids and the short times you'll see are the same it's whether she gets down or not 240 see 475 168 64 245 and this one she lifted even earlier, one, you know, 447, 164, 156. She's just over driving the car. You see the shorts are all the same, the mids are all the same. So she's making it to half track. And if you watch the car, it's going straight and then she's just over driving it. I'm gonna take it out the next time and we're just gonna tune it down to like a 250 for real. And I told her, just put 10 passes together. I promise you. It's in your mind, you're just, you're so timid up there, I can see it. It happens to the best of us, trust me. I've been racing for 25 years and I've had slumps. So, she's experiencing one right now. I just wanna let you know that she's still giving it everything she's got. The car is running great. These things are bulletproof. I am very surprised at the accidents that I've seen with this car. I've had, had to do more repairs. She's doing awesome, she's just in her head. I'll be right back with mine. Alright, back with the Camaro. As you see, I've been having a good string with the car. It's very consistent. Not super fast, but that has a lot to do with the heat. Um, first off, I know you guys have been asking a lot about the Ys. These are what I usually run reactions here, the Ys. I love them. I love them. The car didn't slow down. It didn't. It picked up, but it didn't slow down, so that means a rotating weight. But I'll take that extra wide contact patch over anything. This thing is huge. This is a stretched Mamba. I don't think I have, oh, here's an unstretched Mamba. Look how much wider that is. There's a Mamba ver reaction versus a regular reaction. So anyways, I love the wides. I only got like 25 passes on them, but they're all in the 20s. And the heat of the day with no prep. Uh, unloaded from the bus stop, detuned my stuff. We all had to. This is where I did tune to. And that DTS system, I cannot, it's my fault. It's the same for everybody, I, I don't get it. So uh, there's an eight second delay and as you've seen what happened, I don't, I just sat there. So that's what it came, we went back to Okeechobee, that's what I did tuned it to. So I don't, uh, Greg ended up winning that race and I'm sure he was in the 20s, so I don't think I need for him. So I put my little bit of my tune back in it down low on the controller. This is the first pass at Okeechobee. My goal for that day was to go a teen. I was looking for anything in the teens. It's been a while since I went a teen since it started to get summer. So I'm just messing around here 
with power, levels, points on the, it's all in the controller. I didn't add any timing. I took timing away at the bus stop in Miami. I put it back at 30 degrees. Because I'm sure I can go teens at 68 miles an hour. So I'm just making pass after pass. Damn, things are bracket. I have more tickets, but I was throwing some away because they're most, almost all identical. So I'm just trying, trying and trying and trying to get these done. So as you see, the car is just stuck in this range. Like this one right here, I tapped the wall. So it scrubbed off some speed. Who knows what it would have been. This was the fastest pass I got that day. It was early in the morning. I got to get my 60 foot down to at least a 4.0 in the summer and like a 148 because when I went a 148 and a 396, it went a 17 at 71. You guys know that ticket is on the cover of the video and you've seen it. Now the hooting and the hollering and the way I act. I've been racing for 30 years, 25, 30 years. When you're in a car, no one sees you. If you look at my videos or most anyone's videos, you see the car rocking on the starting line and the shutdown on the in-car cameras, you'll see us going crazy. It has nothing to do with the person in the other lane or any of that stuff. It has to do with the hard work you're putting in and the goal you're personally, to, personally trying to achieve. So that's what you heard when I went crazy on that video. It had nothing to do with Greg, and thank God he's a super cool person. But James was going crazy over this race, understandably so. Look at that. There's the, all I heard was two to do with an 18. And if you watch the video, you can see my reaction go from shutting the car down to, did I just go an 18 to, yeah, yeah. Well, that's normal reaction. I want to tell all the RC guys, that's the way I am. I don't think I can get that out of me. Please, people, I've already made two people think I'm mad at them. I am not mad at anybody. Um, I like to talk shit, just like any other racer, but if I'm doing something good and I'm hooting and hollering and stopping my foot, please, you guys, don't take it personal. I'm just trying to do my best. I mean, I'm enjoying the challenge. I got a race car sitting right here I haven't touched in over a year. I got everything I need. I just am into this, man. I am into this. So. I can't change the way I've been racing for 25 years, the emotion that's in it, because drag racing's all about emotion. I mean, it's hard work, but that's why we're screaming and hooting and hollering, because it's hard work. Yes, this is not as hard as work, but technically, it's just as hard as work. You gotta figure these things out. And I was just feeling, I, if you listen to the audio, you hear 218, and I'm like, I heard it twice, so I thought either we both went a 218, I can give two shits if he went at 218. I'm worried about me. I don't. I didn't even know if I won or not. All that hooting and hollering is because I thought I went at 218 with no prep. There's dudes out there prepping going 220s. So I'm very happy, man. I'm, and my car's running good, man. I'm real happy, guys. Again, thanks to all of you who stopped by. We all share our tune-ups. The people that are calling me on the phone, I got like six or seven of you I tune on a daily over the phone all over the country another three or four of you through email um awesome people just like in racing they're always awesome people you got a few you know you got a few well i don't want you to think i'm one of the few i'm just that's the way it is you again go on youtube or talk to your friends watch the in-car cameras and the shutdown when somebody gets clicked over the radio they did a personal best or they want to race we go ballistic man you just don't see it so now you're seeing it because I'm standing out there. So that's my little rant. And uh, again, I love the wides, man. The wides are the shit. If you're not into no prep, that's the best tire I can think of. People said if I put voodoos on it with no prep, I would have went teens. But I can't get my hands on them. So I don't know how you all feel about prep and no prep. But if you want to come at me, no prep. You all have a great day. Finally, I've been... Uh, Asked about these uh, Pemberton race work arms. Just pull these down off the shelf. Thinking about giving them a try. I mean, I really don't want to touch the car. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, but I had a guy on the channel ask me about them, and I, I, I mean, they seem real rigid. People are telling me that this flex in the arm could cause stuff. I don't know. So maybe I'll put them on. They look a lot better than these uh, custom works here. These things look real, real flimsy but I know a lot of people use them hauling ass so I ain't judging nothing so that's it again you guys have a great day man